With the release of school, we now have three theatrical released Scooby-Doo movies. So today, it's time for me to stop and rank all three theatrical released Scooby-Doo movies from the worst to the best. Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll post some more movie reviews or rankings. Please note that everything that's in this video is just my very own opinion. My list is certainly not the right list, it is just my list. And please feel free to comment down below your ranking or just your favorite Scooby-Doo movie. You can do all theatrically released movies or you can just do your favorite cartoon movies. You can do anything that you want in the comment section. But without further ado, let's get into the ranking. Coming in at last place for me has got to go to Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Now this movie is actually the most rewatched Scooby-Doo theatrically released movie that I've seen because I had this DVD first. This was the first Scooby-Doo DVD that I ever had and honestly I loved the movie growing up. I still love it to this day but this movie just kind of weighs down a little bit for me because it's just a hodgepodge full of fart jokes and burp jokes and Scooby dancing in a club with all the people behind him thinking that he's a real person it was kind of weird a lady was flirting with Scooby as he was a real person it's just a lot of things in this movie that really that really kind of bugs me especially the product placement they say Burger King like twice in here they even selling Girl Scout cookies all types of stuff and it's, it's just a lot of noise in this movie and really the villains are not even that good the monsters are actually real monsters like they're not people in masks and I think that's what made Scooby-Doo such a household franchise is because they were just people in a mask you never knew that the that the monsters was actually real monsters they was actually just people in masks so really this movie just I love it it's very nostalgic for me but it's just it's just a lot of things that not good about this feature. And you can argue that they work better as a team here, but they were split up most of the movie. Shaggy and Scooby were on their own mission, and the other three was on their own mission. So honestly, I don't think that they work better as a team here. Our runner-up at number two has got to go to Scoob. Now, Scoob has a very diverse cast. I like the fact that Velma is actually Latina because it actually shows that there are different races inside of Mystery Inc. And there, there's room for different races, you know. Not everyone is white. So, I like the fact that they actually gave us a more diverse look at, month, at Mystery Inc. But, Mystery Inc. is split up throughout the entire movie. And that's what one of my nitpicks was for Scooby-Doo 2. When I want to see a Scooby-Doo movie... I want to see the team together. I don't want to see them split off and them going on their different adventures and stuff. I want to see them together and then, you know, unmask the ghoul in the end. And, you know, he says that famous line. Not going to say it. You already know what it is. I would have gotten away with you if it weren't for you meddling bitch and you dumb dog. I'll get you for this. But I really want to see... You know, a Scooby-Doo movie that's actually true to Scooby-Doo. I actually want to see an animated Scooby-Doo movie that's actually true to Scooby-Doo. With them making CGI animation, it actually gives them a lot of room to, you know, to have a lot of expression inside of the characters that you can't do in live action. You could do a lot of things in animation that you can't do in live action. And I like the fact that, you know, they tried it here. But they also tried to bring the Scooby-Doo movie into the superhero genre. They tried to squeeze that through the superhero drama and I didn't I, I didn't like that aspect. I wish that we just could have had a regular mystery movie featuring Scooby-Doo and the and Mystery Inc. and that would have been that would have been it. I would have loved to see that. But instead we got a Scooby-Doo movie, actually a Blue Falcon movie featuring Scooby-Doo characters. That's it. it. That's all it is. It's a Blue Falcon movie. So honestly, if they would have kept the movie as they did the that first that first act, you know, that first scene, the title scene, it would have been amazing because that title scene is actually something that, you know, a lot of fans were looking forward to seeing. You know, they actually did like the 1960s title opening scene from the TV show and they did it in a CGI animation with the music and everything like that. That's what I loved about Scoob and honestly, instead of making a cinematic universe, Scoob should have just been its own thing. But coming in at my number one has got to go to Scooby-Doo 2002. It's not because it's my favorite movie of all time, which it is, but I think that this movie just 
brings to life everything that you love about Scooby-Doo. They're on a spooky island trying to solve a mystery. That's what I love, you know. It's not a lot of monsters around or anything like that. Though there is, like, a lot of monster henchmen, they're not the main focus. The main focus is actually Scrappy-Doo. Scrappy-Doo is the villain of this movie, and I like it. I mean, it's not he's not a good villain by far, but... I like the fact that he's actually a villain, you know. You don't see Scrappy-Doo as the villain. You see him as, like, you know, the dog with the anger issues but always helps out uh, Mystery Inc. So I feel like making him the villain was actually a cool idea. And Matthew Lillard, man, he just reacts off of nothing, and it works. I mean, he's act his acting is, is tops. Everyone in this movie is their roles. I mean, Daphne's not the damsel in distress anymore. Belma is actually hot, and she's smart. And Fred is actually, you know, smart also. He's not dumb like he was in Scoob. So honestly, I feel like everyone in this movie had a part to play, and their characters were amazing. And I love the fact that Shaggy and Scooby's relationship is put in the front, in the spotlight, because it's it's actually moving, you know. You're 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 emotional while watching these two characters fight, and then them coming together by the end. I love that aspect, and they worked better as a team here. Well, no, they worked better as a team in Scooby Doo too, but they were a team in this movie. You know, they actually had to come back together after being apart for two years. This is why it comes in at number one, because it's so early two thousands. Oh, and they actually unmask a ghoul at the beginning of the movie. I love that. I mean, they did the same thing in school, but where school fails, like where school falls flat, is that it didn't keep up that mystery aspect. When they get on Spooky Island, it's a full on mystery, and it's just a lot of fun watching these characters do their thing and uncover the mystery of Spooky Island. All right, guys, that is it for the ranking. Please note that everything I said in this video is just my very own opinion. My list was certainly not the right list. It was just my list, and please feel free to comment down below. What do you think of all theatrically released Scooby-Doo movies? Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.